What's your name and where are you from? My name is Johanna and I am from Colombia. I have been in the U.S. for about 16 years. Uh, the name of my business is Casa Lulo, as you can see. Yeah. And Lulo stands for, uh, it's a fruit in Colombia. My business is a lot of multiple things, but I fell in love with designing and I'm a new screen printer, so I decided to start this business. And what I do is that I love putting messages to speak to people in all of my sweatshirts, t-shirts, I'm currently working into making posters and cards. So I love people to come in here and feel like they're welcome, feel like they, it's not just shopping, it's more of an experience. Because I feel like people, when you buy an item, you're, you don't actually remember the actual item, you remember the feeling when you went to get that item. Yeah. And I want people to come in here and feel welcome, feel like they belong kind of thing and that also is facing to my t-shirts and everything that I put. Why and when did you decide to bring your business to the Bellows Trading Post? Why not? I was like, if I want to scale my business, I really have to be where everyone goes. And really this place has amplified my business in ways that I can never, I never thought of. I was there about a year ago. Oh, wow. I started coming here. Yeah. Where were you before that? I was just moving around different places in LA and Orange County. A lot of places will call me and be like, oh, can you park in front? Museums and things like that. But then uh, this place has just given me a lot of more eyes. Do you want to give us like a little bit of a tour or like show us some of your favorite items that you have right now? Sure. Okay. One of the newest items that I have. Welcome. Hi. So I'm um, wearing this one right here. It's still instructed by dogs. It's instructed. We get a lot of dog people here. <laughs> and then this one is a new one that I just restocked. Okay. It's lost in my mind. Cheap. I like to speak water. to people in different ways. And then also, <laughs> let's drink tequila and be better humans. Don't let the internet rush you because I feel really rushed. I feel like life goes too fast and we all need to slow down, breathe a little bit, and think about life instead of the future. Mm -hmm. I love bringing pieces. I also love fashion, but obviously I don't have the skills to make all of that. So I just put little pieces for different people. Obviously not everyone is a teacher person. So if you guys want to have a tour inside the trailer. Yes. And the swimwear is also handmade. Wow. So this is a company that I started with my sisters and it's called Lula Swimwear. It's also handmade. The oh. literature of the trailer. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, well, thank you. you. So, like, do your sayings that you put on your on your t-shirts? They just come to you, or just like do they you just, have like yes. A most of the time it's in the middle of the night so I have a notebook right next to my bed because they come to my head and I just have to write them down. Mm -hmm. It happened to me before then I will wake up the next day and I'm like, what was it? I was yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. Like right now I'm thinking for one that says, I speak English but I love it in Spanish. Yeah. That was for Valentine. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> and this one is one that I made for Valentine which is so funny. People love it though and I kept it. I wish you were my dog. Cute. <laughs> Very romantic. Yeah. Uh, how has your time here impacted your business? I told every vendor that I know, I told them, if you really want to scale your business, you need to be a medical trainer. I told my husband when we started here, it was, I mean, I was on this, but there was lots of people loving my stuff. And because we're here, is that we were able to open our first African model. So right now, we just opened up about five months ago, and we're really excited and promoting and doing all of the stuff. So the shop is basically, I have my studio in the back, I print, and then people see the same things that you see over here in the front. So it's a shop with a studio in the back. What's your favorite memory at Newtown? Oh, I have a few. I mean, I met so many great people here. And also, all the celebrity viewings are also really cool. <laughs> and then my favorite memory, I will say, was last year around Christmas, when we came in uh, Melrose Street and Post had two for the vendors. I never seen that before, and I thought that was really special. I'm like, how nice. Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorite people that you like to shop here, um, people that you've met? So many. Do you get to shop? Yes. I actually, Lana right here, right next to me, She, I have her condos and everything in my shop. 
I also have uh, little pieces over there. We get a lot of lingerie from them as well. I love uh, jewel sales because she has great art. My house and my shop also has all her art. I mean, so many plants. The plant people here yeah. are amazing. Yeah, yeah they're yes. awesome. Thank you for stopping by and interviewing. I mean, I feel so honored. Thank you very <laughs> much.